Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. I decided starting a new video series called Budgets RC on our channel. RC hobby, RC flying used to be very expensive. If you go back a few decades, between 20-30 years, gas engines, nitro engines, glow engines, all that, and helicopters were also not really attainable. The technology wasn't there. But look at us now, it's 2021, and you can get radio controlled airplanes for less than $30. If you watch my channel before, you may already know that I am obsessed with two-channel airplanes because they provide a very low barrier of entry to the hobby. And imagine someone thinking about getting into RC flying airplanes and then they buy something good for less than $30, get a taste of it, they love it, and then get, they go to the next step, maybe three channel, four channel airplane, larger airplanes. The same is true with helicopters. Helicopters about 20 years ago were almost unattainable. The technology didn't exist to make them really small and cheap and battery operated. But now you can get them for about $10. I have reviewed a helicopter that was around $10 on our channel. I put the link below. Yeah, it wasn't that good, but hey, it is not a bad idea, right? Paying just $10 to have some fun in, inside the home, maybe outside when the weather is calm. But then there is also another side of RC, which is buying used RC equipment or even new but older RC equipment on eBay or Facebook Marketplace, even Craigslist. So I start my search. I was just checking Facebook Marketplace and on one day I found so many great deals that I could not resist. And here is one of them. Of course, I am taking a risk by buying a used helicopter. Why? It may not work. You cannot really test it. You are doing the exchange, especially during the pandemic, you meet in a McDonald's parking lot, right? So you don't really have a chance to test it. Yeah. So I paid $10 for this protocol Skyline 3.5 channel, they call it, I don't know, it's a three channel helicopter and it's a good size, I think. It calls a G series and I know protocol is a pretty good brand and brand new, I think these were selling anywhere from $30 to $50. So. Is this a good deal? Is the budget RC deal? Let's figure it out. Most of these cheap helicopters, they come with a controller that is unfortunately infrared. And this comes with a controller that is not infrared. It is a decent, I think, FM controller. And these days, you don't really have to worry about interference too much because nobody uses these anymore. All the RC technologies are based on 2.4 gigahertz. So if you are using 49.8 megahertz, I don't think it's going to interfere with anything. And this is not one of those small size helicopters. This is a pretty good size. And I mean, to, to my eyes, it looks like brand new. It even has a light strip on the boom. Look at that. And probably this may be able to handle light wind so you can fly it outside at night. It will be fun. Controller looks like decent. I mean, it's a toy controller, but hey, three channel controller with a little bit of a trimming, I think. It still has the spare parts. Looks like the battery is actually, actually integrated. You know, I prefer when the battery is replaceable so you can have multiple batteries and change it. Here on this one, it is already in here. The instructions are here. What I would like to do is just bring you other options. If you have been thinking about getting into RC and not sure you don't want to spend a lot of money, there are always budget options. And you can start that way. And if you like it, you will stay. If you don't, you can probably sell it to somebody else who wants to start and recoup your money. The battery has been charging over an hour now and the red light on the charging adapter has turned from red to green which is a good sign but it doesn't mean the battery has actually power or any capacity in it. It is showing 84%. Let's turn it on. So at least the lights are turned on. I turned the power on, the light didn't come on. So I said, is that the LED that's the issue or the whole thing? It turns out 
it is the LED because when I turn this one on and turn this on and then up, down, now we have power. It is almost trying to take off. Okay. You decrease the power to the zero and it takes a couple seconds for it to stop. Okay, the battery may be bad. Yep, I'm almost full throttle and then swing that, so I'm going to cut off the And it takes a couple seconds for it to realize I actually cut off the power. Here's how its battery looks like. It's all puffy. It's not going to come back to life, so this is gone. I don't have to order anything new because I just realized that I have these batteries. So this is 500 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt, one cell battery, and this is 550, a little larger, 10% uh, higher capacity. And if you put them side by side, hold them, you'll see that the dimensions are exactly the same. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the same connector. So what I'm going to attempt to do is transplant the connector of this one. So let me show you what I did. I use one of these four inch cable ties, the small ones, to immobilize the battery, like the other one. And then just for a good measure, I also added a little bit of dabs of hot glue on both sides. The canopy is back on and the battery is charged, as you can see from the green light. Well, everything looks good. Let's see how it's going to fly with the new battery. A little trimming. Let's bring it over here. Flying nicely. Everything looks good. That was too close to the camera. Go backwards and turn around. Very stable. I like it. And I'm looking forward to flying it in the in the dark. Maybe I can try now. Let's see if I can land it and then uh, turn off the lights. Close enough. <laughs> oh, it has headlights. Look at that. You can see where it's going. Now, when I turn it towards us, I think it's going to blind us a little bit. No, it's, I think, facing down actually. Let's see that helipad and then see if I can land it on the helipad in the dark. Now I'm all off. Let's turn on the light. Hey, not bad at all for a <laughs> night landing. So this is a really a budget RC deal in my opinion. 
perfect because it is not so small. It has lights, LED lights, and uh, you know, it, it is substantial. It's all metal frame and all that. It looks really nice. I cannot believe I got it for 10 bucks, but you can find these kind of these all the time. So does it fly well outside? I mean, slight breeze. I'm, I'm calling maybe a few miles per hour. So let's try it. Don't get too close, Kai, okay? <laughs> all right. And stay away. Okay. It is flying. Let me just, this turning tendency, I just fixed it with this little trim. You can just adjust the trim. And it is hovering pretty good. Um, so in order to bring it back, if it's going away, you have to turn it the way you want to go and then push this all the way. So this is all the way forward. So this is, it's full speed ahead, full steam ahead. It is flying like that. And then I'm just walking behind it. So let's bring it back like coming backwards like that. Of course, it is coming a little faster, but I mean, this is made for flying indoors, right? And you can turn this like that. This is the full right turn. This is full left turn. Does it have rates? Let's see. No, <laughs> these don't work for rates. Okay, let's, uh, I went up a little bit and then uh, of course the, the wind is a little uh, stronger as you go up. So I'm just slowly bringing it back where we were. It is nice. It doesn't have altitude control so or altitude hold. So I'm just kind, kind of like a adjusting the throttle like very small increments but this will be a good very good budget uh, learning uh, helicopter three channel it doesn't go from side to side so if you want to bring it uh, side you have to turn to the right and then just full steam ahead right now it's full steam ahead i'm just going around frolicking and let's not get it too far because you know, this is full steam ahead, as I mentioned. So it is, uh, doesn't have forward and backward oomph that my uh, son's helicopter has. I mean, look, look at that, that one is going pretty good. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, I think, couch potato. Yes, I mean, <laughs> if you are a couch potato, you can fly this at home in your living room, in your TV room, or men cave, woman cave, whatever you want to call it. But it is perfect. I mean, you can get these kind of deals very inexpensively and uh, just make good use of them when you are learning. It's a little fantastic little, uh, not so little actually, not so small helicopter with lights. And you can see from the bottom, let me get underneath. Okay, so the wind carried it a little bit. I'm still full steam ahead and pushing it towards the wind. You know, it's not an even wind, it's just like a very slight breeze. And that LED in the front makes it, uh, it's very bright. I mean, I'm sure this is easy to fly in the evening as well. I mean, look, the tail boom has flashing, nice flashing LED lights, I think. At least three colors I see, red, blue, and green. And then in the front, in the nose, there is this uh, white LED light. Let's turn it around. As soon as I turn down, man, I mean, it just flies away from us. You can see it's like a slight breeze, but it just goes away. And then we have to now bring it back slowly because the forward uh, <laughs> oomph is not there, basically. But it makes it easier and more stable, almost had a... Midair collision, Kaya, please be careful, you are scaring me. <laughs> okay, uh, my daredevil son uh, just had a, almost like a midair collision with my nice little or old little or not so little protocol. Let's see if I can land it. It's like this, uh, you know, since this is like a three channel. Okay, yes, success landed and is the motor hot because they put this uh, little thing saying that hot over here not even not not even warm i mean these are big motors for for a tiny helicopter like this and on the background you can see the e-sheen e129 is it on high rates kaya 
It's on high rates. <laughs> I don't know how to turn on high. Oh, I, I think one of the buttons uh, turn it on and off. I think you may be on high rates. Don't don't get it too far and get disoriented. Anyway, folks, here is a budget RC deal that I wanted to share with you. Protocol G series Skyline with gyro, and it is a fantastic deal for ten dollars. And if you find one, uh, snatch one. It is old, but it's one of those RC oldies, but goldies. Electric, uh, easy to charge. Very nice. It has like a so soft foam to pro protect its skids. And it is not one of those infrared IR helicopters that use the infrared light to get the signals. This has a real radio that has real radio waves radio frequency not uh, infrared light so if you find one for 10 bucks or even 15 dollars you know buy it it is a nice size thank you very much for watching if you have any questions any comments any suggestions for future budget rc videos please let me know i'll try to find those and buy them and then review them here hope to see you on the next video stay safe and healthy bye bye Hey, you look at your helicopter, not at me, buddy. You are, you are becoming a superstar, huh, with this one? All right, folks, goodbye.